Hello guys, welcome back to the crew Waltron Driving all cars part number 78 The Spiker C8 Aero Sort of an exclusive car, a Dutch manufacturer and uh, yeah I'm not even sure if it still exists, uh, there has been some or it has been taken over by uh, some Chinese probably yes. Not 100% sure. It's not like they bring out a new model every year, it's more like exclusive. They have a couple of these C8 and the Iron being one version of it. Although I believe they were working on uh, C6 or something, not sure. But I do know it, it's Dutch and uh, it only has one spec in this game and that is the performance spec. And that kinda looks like this, at least in the livery I made it. Some black rims, a bit more carbon here and there, a little wing and the back. Um, acceleration performance, we are talking times from 22.2 from the Huayra being the fastest up to 25 seconds I believe for something like a uh, Cadillac Eldorado quite some wheel spin in first gear second seems to be okay Resulting in 24.0. That's uh, well, sort of in the middle of the pack. We have a couple of 22 second cars and a bunch of 23 and 24 seconds and a couple of 25ers. So, kind of in the middle of the pack. And yeah, <coughs> then we, uh, if you're following the series, we already know it. Uh, a lot of this performance cars, circuit cars. All the cars in general. A lot of it depends on the acceleration uh, from the tests that we have done here. The fastest of the lot will also have amongst the best acceleration. And since this was only in the middle of the pack, we'll probably make this an average performance pack as well. Kind of sticks to the road though, so um, handling wise. Pretty smooth. This is, um, I'm thinking, I think it comes with the speed pack. It is a DLC car though. With one of those monthly packs they uh, released at one point. And then later they linked those uh, packs to the also to the season pass, I believe. Or to some uh, editions like uh, I did by the um, complete edition. And there were uh, all packs included. Sweet edition, the four DLC, monthly DLC packs, the season pass, it was all included there, so together with uh, the crew itself and the Wild Run expansion. Uh, performance packs, so we are looking to get around 400. Should be not really a problem, so apparently. 370 already. Maybe not. 396 something, okay. A few kilometers short of the uh, the better specs in performance. The acceleration is uh, average.
but the top speed and the handling are uh, more than okay. It might be a bit above average, but uh, well, it's definitely not amongst the top because the acceleration is not good enough uh, to keep up with the better specs in performance. But other than that, yeah, enjoyable car to drive around in. Also has, uh, s well, sort of a special look, I think. But uh, yeah, just above average, let's call it that. I will see you guys in the next one, and bye for now.